The name of the course is AP Art History and it's an advanced placement course that is meant to be on the level of an introductory college survey of art history course, meaning we look at art from um, prehistoric times um, up to artists who are living and working today. Um, so that's a lot of art, a lot of history, and we also consider how artwork is made in different parts of the world. I took art history because I like art and I didn't know that much about like where certain artists came from or what movements they were a part of and I thought it would be interesting to learn more about that. Um, eventually I learned that it was actually just like about strictly art history but once we like started I actually really got into it. Uh, AP Art History is good for uh, pretty much anyone who'd like to take an AP course as there's no prerequisite. However, if you have a strong background in studio art, uh, literature, or history, then you most likely will do well in the course. I like that it's like usually a smaller class and that you can get to like know each other and you also learn about like a lot about how like where art originated from. It is a full-time elective. Each semester we take a field trip to a local museum such as the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, Institute of Contemporary Art in Boston, and we've also gone to the PP Essex in Salem. Um, we look at uh, shows that may have special uh, meaning to any part of the course of study. Like As an artist, it was really cool seeing like what it took to get where we are now and how to like draw inspirations from like even like like really older stuff so I think like if, if you are someone who like likes doing art or even just likes creating in general it's a good course to take. I've learned that there's like a lot more art like styles than what we usually think about and that art's changed a lot over the years. Uh, a lot of people think they don't have time for art history because it has a reputation of having a lot of reading um, every night. However, um, I know it is the case that students have not done the reading and have done well in class. Not that I want to advertise that, but um, it's very much taught like a seminar uh, that you would have in college with a lot of discussion and in-depth looking at um, the material. and. Um, talking with each other in the class about the material. So I would say as long as you are present in class and taking part, you'll be fine. It's, it's a lot of information. You got to be interested in it. Um, I would say definitely take it because they also offer it in college so you can get like a feel for it if you want to take it in college or not.